If you're making videos on your own, it's now ridiculously easy to get epic looking drone B-roll. Let's set a timer and I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start off and I'm just gonna find a nice starting point. This is all in real time, so we're keeping the timer honest here. I'm gonna point the gimbal down just a little bit, move across, maybe back just a little bit. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to master shots. Make sure I'm in pro mode. Make sure I'm shooting in 4K. And now what I'm going to do is tap a box around this area here. You can see you've got an estimated flight time of two minutes and then just tap start. And now what the drone's gonna do, it's gonna shoot a series of different movements and kind of automatically put them together into one video, but we can then use those little, uh, little chunks out of that video in our main video. So now the drone's off doing its thing. It's doing lots of different movements automatically. You can see it up there. You can even walk through the shot, I'll see you in a minute. You can even walk through the shot while the master shot sequence is happening to get a more dynamic looking video. Hopefully I won't fall over the edge here. All right, let's see how we're going. It's currently doing a rocket move. So we're almost done now, 97% done, 98, 99, and 100%. So once it's finished that sequence of automatic shots or master shots, it's gonna return back to the starting location just behind me there or just in front of me there. And that's it. Now, when you're editing your main video, you can choose the bits from the drone B-roll that you like and make your video so much more interesting with hardly any work at all. My Mini 3 playlist has got loads of useful videos if you want to learn more about how to get the most out of this amazing drone. I'm Jason Roberts and I'll see you in the next one.